This week is a special week because of a few reasons. So I feel like I sound like a broken record saying this, but tennis players don't have an off season. And I feel like that maybe doesn't sound so crazy, but I guarantee to you guys that it's pretty crazy. So since Tommy doesn't really have an off season, he basically lives out of a suitcase, which means he can't spend much time here with me. So with all that being said, there is like one week in November every year that Tommy and I either get to go on a little vacation. Basically, there's only one week out of the whole year that I get him completely and totally to myself. So for the past two years that we've been dating, we've done a ski trip. But this year, since I'm in my new house and I'm getting settled, and I was kind of like, why on the one week that you get a break and then I get you, are we getting on a plane and going somewhere? Oh, here he is. Oh my gosh, did you give me flour? I did. Cookie? That's so cute. This is really good timing. That's such good timing. Really good. Oh, sweet that you did that. Yeah, I know. Oh, I love you. You're telling them about how, um, the one week, this is the one week I get you all year to myself. Uh-huh. And, and the best, the best week of the year for her. This is this her is holiday. My, this, is, this is my Christmas. But I was saying we always get on a plane and go somewhere. But this year we decided to do like a staycation. Because we love it here. We do. We love it here. <laughs> I've been, she's been putting me to work. I put him to work immediately when he gets here. I, I've been... I was, uh, what's it called? You've done leaf all Leaf blower, things. I was doing the leaf blower this morning. Wait, where did you find a leaf blower? In the garage. Oh, I didn't even know I had a leaf blower. Yeah, but it's an electric one, so it doesn't reach very far from the house. I don't know, I just did the driveway. And then uh, I changed the oil in the truck. Oh my gosh. I got a car wash. And flowers. Pretty good, pretty, pretty good. good. And I'm ready for the gym. We're going to the gym? Yeah. All right, we need to get a, like a tea kettle. Because I need to drink my mate and we don't have anything to warm okay. water. We can get that for you. It's also special because obviously fall in New England. It's my favorite time of year here. But also I'm going to have a Friendsgiving this Friday. So this vlog is going to be like a week in my life at home in Connecticut with Tommy. And then I'm also going to be kind of prepping my house, cooking for Friendsgiving on Friday with all my friends. My outfit for the gym today is from Aritzia. running a lot of errands today. Just went to the market. Tonight we're having a bit of swordfish, salmon, swordfish cooked on the grill, salmon roasted in the oven with feta and dill. Gonna do some mashed butternut squash with brown sugar and butter. And then for greens, I'm just gonna do some steamed broccoli. And then tomorrow I'm gonna do the Christmas decorations. My bathroom's being painted. I wouldn't call it a renovation, but like my bathroom kind of renovation is starting tomorrow. I'm doing custom marble vanities, changing up the mirror, the hardware, and repainting the whole room. And then what else are we doing tomorrow? Like we just have like other errands to run. I have a few meetings tomorrow, but another busy day tomorrow. <laughs>
Last time we went there, they didn't have it, and we had to run to the place next door to go buy maple syrup. You say syrup or syrup? I say maple syrup. Ew, that's so... Ew! What? That's cringe. Oh, how do you say it? Syrup. Syrup? Yeah. Is that like a North Carolina thing? Anyways, good morning, guys. We're going to breakfast, and I... Is it syrup or syrup? <laughs> I cannot eat fake maple syrup. I think it's a there mix. There we go, syrup. Oh. Uh, yeah. I think it's a mix of the fact that I grew up in Vermont and I never ate the fake maple syrup growing up. I feel like Canadians and people from Vermont. Oh. But that was really thoughtful of you. Yeah, I don't even like it. I like the. He likes the fake stuff. I like the. Yeah. I wish I liked the fake maple syrup. It would be easier because the majority of places I go don't have the real. This one's just too rich for me. You know what I mean? I mean, I can understand that you didn't grow up eating it, so it tastes different. Anyways, we are heading to breakfast. My bathroom got finished getting painted yesterday. It looks so good. Um, I'm really, really happy with that. So. What else? Oh, I'm having my mirrors installed. I have a light fixture in my bedroom going up today. I have a few meetings today. Okay guys, done with my meetings. I just got a bunch of packages that I got from eBay. I do most of my thrift shopping, vintage shopping on eBay. Here is one of the sweaters I got. Yeah. Really, really cute, this big sweater. Got this vintage Ralph Lauren, big chunky sweater. All these sweaters kind of look the same. I got this, another Ralph Lauren. Vintage like skiing winter Really cool sweater. Okay, so this is a family favorite prep the stuffing now This is our Dairy Boy Dutch oven. I have them all out here. We're gonna use them for the Friendsgiving I'm literally so excited about these testing them for like over a year and they're finally dropping very soon But I'm gonna be using these for the Friendsgiving obviously Okay, gonna show you guys a little bit of the bathroom. I'm getting new sinks, but the paint looks so, so pretty. I honestly don't hate these sinks, but they're a little bit masculine. I think the marble will look very special, but this is the paint. I think it turned out so pretty. We are about to go meet my parents in my hometown and my Tommy and my dad are gonna play paddle. Whoa! Oh, is it called platform tennis or paddle? I honestly have no Okay, we'll find out, but I'm wearing this new Elwood sweat set. It's so good. You guys see me wearing a colored sweat set like this? It's probably Elwood and I do have a code page, so. Not sponsored, but if you guys want to use the Elwood code. Looking at the imagery and it's a lot of important for us to get the denim, the robe, to get the items shot on the slack. Okay guys, I have some last minute decorating and just little things but if you guys haven't like noticed. I just love hosting so 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 much. So I've been having a lot of fun planning and 
getting the house ready for people to come over. This is also the first time that a lot of my New York friends are gonna be coming to my new house. So, very exciting. Gonna go run in to terrain again. Have to go get some florals and then, yeah, I feel like I'm forgetting something, but yeah, gonna run into terrain again and then I need to go pick some flowers. I was already here earlier in the vlog, um, but I feel like every time I go, there is something new. home and I'm doing the floral arrangements and I thought I would just show you guys I'm like in the middle of doing it so I use this stuff I actually don't even know what it's called oh a floral brick you basically fill this up with water and then you can put the stems right into it and they kind of stay and it's very very pretty if you guys didn't know this about me I'm super into making floral arrangements so this is like the most fun part of decorating for guests to come over for me. So I'm just gonna do three in this and then I'm gonna stick some little red berries. This is for the table. These shears that I got for floral arrangements have literally changed my life. I used to hack floral arrangements, like literally it was so hard before, but these are definitely a necessity if you um, make a lot of floral arrangements. I got these on Amazon. So now I'm just gonna take these and stick them into the floral brick. If you wanna make an expensive looking arrangement at home, I think you need these, the floral bricks. It's really what makes it, I think a little bit more artistic looking. Okay, this one is done. So I'm gonna make three of these, I think. I also got these on Amazon. I can link them for you guys. <laughs> CVS. I love them. I like that they actually stick. Mm -hmm. 